Since 2003, CertainTeed has been a leader in the self-adhered bituminous low slope roofing market. CertainTeed's self-adhered roof system, Flint Plastic SA, is valued for its toughness during and after application, superior bond strength, and array of aesthetic options. Since its introduction, Flintlastic SA application instructions have required a minimum temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit and warming. In parallel, CertainTeed has been evaluating both field and laboratory bonds made in temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit. This video will guide you in the proper cold weather application of Flintlastic SA, which is now an approved option, supported by all CertainTeed Commercial Roofing Limited warranties. The installation technique associated with Flintlastic SA base or interply sheets is the same in cold or warm weather. However, it's imperative that base and interply sheets be stored in a warm location. Do not install cold rolls. Application instructions for Flintlastic SA base and interply sheets can be found in the Flintlastic Applicator Manual or the Flintlastic SA Application Brochure. Both are available on CertainTeed.com. In this video, we'll review four installation elements for Flintlastic SA cap sheets, edge metal details, field application, side laps, and end laps. The Flintlastic SA edge metal detail is slightly different depending on whether the system includes two or three plies. For two ply systems, the detail includes the base sheet, a nine inch flashing strip of either ply base or mid ply, primed edge metal set in Flintbond SBS modified adhesive, and cap sheet. For three-ply systems, the detail includes the base sheet, interply, primed edge metal set in Flintbond SBS modified adhesive, and cap sheet. For the purpose of this video, we'll show a two-ply edge metal detail. Though not required, we recommend priming the edge metal first so it can dry while you get the base and flashing strip in place. While the primer is drying, get the base sheet installed. On non-nailable substrates, Flintlastic SA ply base or mid-ply is installed, extending and wrapping over the roof edge by 2 inches. Next, install the 9-inch flashing strip. This strip provides additional protection for water incursion at the roof's edge. Now it's time to fasten and adhere the metal, which should be a minimum 26 gauge. Apply flint bond trowel in a uniform 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch thickness on the underside of the metal. Set the metal in place. Secure it to the roof using appropriate fasteners, spaced 4 inches to 6 inches and offset by 2 inches. This fastening pattern is critical when installing in cold weather. Shortcuts can allow the cap sheet to pull the metal up and out as the sheet naturally contracts and expands. Apply flint bond, either caulk grade or trowel grade, to the edge of the metal where it meets the flashing strip and to the edge of the flashing strip where it meets the base sheet. Now, you're ready to proceed with the installation of the cap sheet, which should be positioned approximately one half inch in from the edge of the metal. In order to obtain a watertight bond in cold weather, apply heat and pressure along the entire edge of the roof with a hot air welder and two to four inch silicone roller. Make sure the position of the cap sheet is not overhanging the roof at any point, putting the membrane at risk for vertical winds. The half inch space from the edge leaves room for the final step, a bead of flint bond caulk along the entire edge, which seals and prevents water from wicking in, freezing and compromising the bond. When installing Flintlastic SA cap in cold weather, the field element of the application is no different than standard practice, but again, rolls should be kept warm until they are installed. First, sweep the underlying base or interply sheet to remove any debris that could interfere with adhesion. To install Flintlastic SA cap, Start at the low point of the roof with a full roll width, which should offset side laps from the underlying membrane a minimum of 18 inches. Work with manageable lengths for proper handling. Position the cap with a salvage edge release strip at the high side of the roof. Install in weather lapped fashion, with no laps against the flow of water. Once the first sheet is in position, have one installer hold the membrane in position while a second installer pulls and removes the split release film out from beneath one side of the membrane. Repeat on the other side of the membrane. Now, the first course is adhered to the base sheet or interply surface. The clear selvage edge release film will still be in place. For the second cap course, position the roll to completely overlap the exposed selvage edge. First, remove the release film on the underside of the roll, opposite the installed selvage edge. 
Then remove the release film on the other side and the clear selvage film. You may choose to remove both of these in unison. In warm weather, the side lap bond at the selvage edge would only require pressure from a weighted roller to achieve a watertight state. In cold temperatures, this bond, without additional heat and focused pressure, may allow water to wick under and ultimately freeze and lift the sheet. So, with a hot air welder setting at 2 or 3, apply heat to the lap, positioning the tip at the underside of the lapping roll. Drag the hot air welder along the side lap at an approximate rate of 6 inches per second. As the welder moves along the lap, push and roll the overlapping roll into place with a 2 to 4 inch width silicone roller. Check all laps with a probe or the front end of the trowel. Be sure to apply extra heat and pressure as needed to ensure a complete side lap bond. Flintlastic SA end lap details include a 6 inch overlap. When installing a sheet that will result in an end lap, minimize T seams to avoid creating a capillary or path for water incursion. Cut end laps at opposing diagonal corners at a 45 degree angle, approximately 5.5 inches long by the selvage dimension. In warm weather, Flintlastic SA cap end laps can be affixed in a bed of Flint Bond SBS modified adhesive. When installing at cold temperatures, a heat welded bond tested significantly superior to mastic. This method can be utilized for warm weather as well. End laps require a welder heat setting between 8 and 10, or 932 degrees Fahrenheit to 1130 degrees Fahrenheit. When ready, remove the release film and apply heat at the granule surface. Drag the hot air welder at an approximate rate of 3 inches per second. For a 6 inch overlap, the welder makes two 3 inch passes. Heat and roll the inner 3 inches of the end lap, and then heat and roll the outer 3 inches of the end lap. Offset or stagger adjacent end laps a minimum of 3 feet. This same heat and pressure technique should be applied to any granule overlaps in the roof system, such as inside or outside corners and base flashing. If preferred, this heat and roll method can be utilized year-round, replacing the use of flint bond trowel for any granular overlap details. If asphalt begins to smoke, too much heat is being applied. Back off. Also, if you see more than a quarter inch bleed out, you're overheating and displacing too much asphalt. To finish, check all joints and laps with a seam probe for full adhesion. If the membrane can be lifted at any area, it is not properly adhered. Reapply the hot air welder, if necessary, to seal any small unbonded areas. Once rows are in place, apply a heavy weighted roller over the entire membrane surface. Apply pressure from the center outwards. After the end lap is properly adhered, apply a bead of flint bond caulk along the edge. This concept can be applied to any cut edges. The application of the flint bond prevents capillary action or water wicking into the system where reinforcement mat fibers are exposed. For best aesthetics, broadcast granules into the flint bond. For more information on Flintlastic SA application, refer to the application manual or contact your CertainTeed representative.